I'm gonna run, do a quick video on my twin stick setup on uh, Elite Dangerous. I'm not gonna go into all the, the details as far as fine tuning, just the basic overview of uh, my controls and how I set them up. There's several different ways to set these things up, so it's all your personal preference. Um, so let's just get started. Basic controls. I typically turn all of my mouse stuff off because I don't want to bump my mouse and have it do something stupid. Flight rotation. Yaw is my left stick Z axis. I don't do yaw to roll button. My roll axis is my right stick uh, X axis, left to right. Pitch axis is forward to back. Right stick. Flight thrust. Lateral thrust is my uh, x-axis on my left stick, so it's pushing the left stick left and right. Vertical thrust is back over to my right stick. It's the twist axis, the z-axis. I don't set up anything forward and back axis for thrust because I thro throttle is already kind of set to that, so it doesn't really matter. You could, if you wanted to, um, set up like that's the joy on the right thumb of the right stick i'll probably throw that on there just for the hell of it to see what it you know if it's if it gives me more fine-tuned control um alternative controls if you wanted to do an alternative controls button like a landing landing or whatever you can set that up um i'm not going to flight throttle the right throttle axis is the y-axis on my left stick um, so I push forward and I go forward, pull back, and I go reverse. The only thing I set up on my left stick hat is these set speeds. So that all my forward speeds, I can just push a hat in a certain direction. It'll lock 100%, 75, 50, 25, and 0. Um, I do that just because I don't want to sit here and hold the stick forward all the time. Now, the VKB has a function... Uh, or I should say has a function. It has additional cams that come with it, cams and springs, and you can adjust the dry clutch. There's a dry clutch in the VKB that you can adjust, act like a throttle, where it won't return back to center. When you pull push forward, it'll stay wherever you leave it. Um, I don't have mine set up that way. I wanted to test that. I haven't done that yet, but I will in the future, and maybe I'll even video, I'll record it and put a video together just to show you guys exactly how I, how I do that. Um, so that's throttle. I don't do anything for flight landing overrides. Um, I've thought about doing a flight landing override. As soon as you deploy your landing gear, you, it changes your, your, your characteristics or your flight controls. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't see the benefit in it. So then flight mis miscellaneous. I really have engine boost set up on my, my, my left stick. It's kind of just wherever it feels most comfortable for you. The frame shift drive is on my right stick, someplace that I can't really reach it easily um, because it's not going to be something I need to get in, a, in the heat of, a, heat of the moment. Targeting is on my right stick. I use one of the hats, forward, back, left, right, as my uh, targeting. And then unlock target is the press button. My, my sit, subsystems, I use my mouse wheel up and down on the, I shouldn't say mouse wheel, it's a scroll wheel on the joystick, the right joystick, the verbal. I use it up and down um, to lock or scroll to the, the system that I want. Primary fire is, is both on the same joy. It's one, uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm not sure that it is. Let me, joy three and joy four. So it wasn't. So I still had it set up, whereas my triggers were on my right and my left. I don't like that. I do remember trying that. I don't like it. I like them all, but both be on one. So right now, first is the primary fire is Joy 3, which is the first stage. Secondary fire is if I pull all the way back, it fires from the second stage. Um, cycle previous fire groups and, and or cycle fire groups up and down on the left joystick. So the VKB has a, has a dual function thumb joy where you can press the center button, it turns it into a directional hat. You press it again and it turns it into a, a joystick. I use this when the red light's on, it's a directional hat and I use it for, for these functions. Deploy hard points, obviously just wherever's comfortable for you. 
um, ship lights, it's all preference stuff. So this is all on my right joystick, just the hats. Um, these things are all things that are, you're just going to have to figure out what feels right to you. Uh, mode switches, same thing. I mean, you, you're on my right, one of my right hats, and I just I use these because they're easy to, to navigate. Camera suite is all personal preference. However you want to set up your camera suite, if you want to set up your camera suite. Um, but that's, that's pretty much how I have mine set up. I like these uh, hazardous resource sites. Wow, well, not really worth anything. You get the idea. This is how I set mine up. I do like the twin sticks. I uh, don't know that I'll ever go back to a throttle except for uh, needing additional buttons. My only concern with that is that I'm not impressed with the Verpal's buttons in general. I'll get the other stick from Verpal here probably within the next couple weeks. They're supposed to ship it here, I think, Monday. And I'll be comparing the, the buttons on it. If, if they're as bad as the buttons on this right stick, then I'm probably going to end up selling both the Verpal sticks and just going to the, the VKB, uh, honestly. The VKB sticks, everything is solid. It's not as pretty. But it fits my hand better. It's it's accurate. I, I just I like it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully, guys, it helped you out. Um, but we'll talk to you later. Thank you.